With more than one and a half million books in print, best-selling authors Squire Rushnell and his wife Louise Duart have inspired readers with their popular Godwink series. In their latest Godwink Christmas stories, they feature a collection of extraordinary things that have happened in the lives of 30 people at Christmas time. One of those stories inspired the Hallmark movie, A Godwink Christmas, which premieres Sunday, November 18th, starring Kathy Lee Gifford. Well, Squire and Louise, we welcome you back to the 700 Club. Uh, this is old stomping ground yeah, for you guys. Yeah, family <laughs> for us. Yes, yes. You know, we were just saying in the green room how so many of the Godwing stories happened because we would watch the 700 Club, and Squire and I would say, oh, that's an amazing Godwink. And then we'd <laughs> call up people here and say, do you have the number of that person? We, we want to yeah. check that out. And that's a lot of the stories in our books well, from the, the 700 Club. I mean, just a, such a plethora of books that have come out of this concept. And just for people who, I don't know who they might be, but who wouldn't know what a Godwink is, Squire, where did that term well, come from? Well, it is a new word in the language, and it, and it fills in the vacancy for what you would have otherwise called a coincidence, but you knew it wasn't a coincidence. Yes. So what do you call it? Yeah. So when Godwink came into my mind, um, what was it, Lay, like maybe 13, 14 years ago, uh, the, the moment it came into my mind, I thought, Gee, that sounds like a friendly word, yeah. like Godspeed, God send, God winks. Yes. And I went and I took out all the words coincidence in that first manuscript, and it fit. It worked. And the most yeah. important thing is, is that when people people started using it, it fit in the language because they it they it it moved very quickly into the language. So you've written so many books, Louise. What made you decide to pull together Godwink stories for Christmas? Well, everyone loves Christmas. And also, God has been kind of taken out of Christmas a little yes. bit. And we wanted to bring him back in to show that God is with us at all times. And there's some sweet stories in there, too, ones that I think people will relate to, relate to but also they'll look at them and see how God at a certain place and time came in to give them a special wink, a sign that said, hey, kid, I'm thinking about you. Mm -hmm. I love you. You're not alone. And you know, in Proverbs 3, 6, it says, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he'll direct our paths. Well, that's what God winks are. When we acknowledge him, when we pray to him, mm -hmm. he will create God winks along our path, like signposts along our path. God wink We're by going God wink. Way. Yes. <laughs> yes. Letting us know how much he cares about us. Yeah. Well, tell us about the God wink story in the book that's about to become a Hallmark movie. Well, it's, um, it is in this book, and it's uh, actually, it is a story some, about some friends of ours who live on Martha's Vineyard, innkeepers. And the story is a true story for Hallmark. So that in itself is a little unique. Mm -hmm. It is called A God Wink Christmas. It's got G-O-D in the title of the, <laughs> Imagine of, such a thing. of the movie. Yes, that's very unique. So it's the story of Paula, mm -hmm. who is a young woman in uh, St. Louis. She uh, kind of accidentally says yes when the guy ask her to marry him. And everybody around said, oh, he's the guy for you. And I mean, you know, so she felt trapped that she had made maybe the wrong decision. And she has an aunt on uh, Nantucket, who played by Kathy Lee Gifford, Aunt Jane. And so she goes to visit Aunt Jane to just to sort things out. She gets there and Aunt Jane sends her to Martha's Vineyard because she's got a business meeting herself. So she says, go to Martha's Vineyard. It's, it's an island nearby. Go antiquing. Well, the fog comes in. It delays the flights. And the, the <laughs> fog was the God wink in itself. And there was a wonderful, handsome guy sitting by his car at the Martha's Vineyard airport. And... That was her way to get into town because all the cabs were gone because of the weather. And so Gary Conover and Paula had that first meeting through Godwinks, and then the whole movie just unfolds, unfolds and it is there. against the beautiful backdrop of Martha's Vineyard. Well, listen, speaking of weather and the beautiful backdrop of Martha's Vineyard, you had a Godwink moment with some snow that you had <gasps> yes. wished existed, yes, but... Yes. Yeah. Because we were doing the exteriors on Martha's Vineyard, but shooting a lot of the movie in Canada. So the director was coming to the vineyard, and it was early in December last year, and I said to Squire, oh, honey, we need snow. We need a blanket of snow because it's a Hallmark movie and it's Christmas. <laughs> I said it doesn't snow in December on Martha's Vineyard. I said, well, then we've got to start praying. Yeah. So we started praying for snow and all of a sudden the snow started Come coming on. down. 
Terry, it was a god wink in itself. And then the director came, he shot all the beautiful shots of Martha's Vineyard with this beautiful blanket of snow. And on the last shot, it went up to 45 degrees, rain came down, snow was gone. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, I just want to mention the book is a great Christmas gift. It's called God Wink Christmas. It's available wherever books are sold. But make sure you tune into the Hallmark Channel. That's next Sunday, November the 18th, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central for the premiere of the movie, A God Wink Christmas. Don't miss it. Thanks, you two. Thank Thanks. you. Always wonderful to All have right. you with us.